Alright, so we're at the show after In Your House 15. We're in the build to wrestle me, or, uh, King of the Ring. And I'll show you the bracket for that uh, after I'm done going back what happened last night. Uh, the uh, Heart Foundation defeated Legion of Doom and Stone Cold uh, for storyline purposes. Mankind defeated Undertaker. Just he, he needed to win, you know, like uh, it was clean victory and but it's not the end of the feud ultimate word defeats Jake the snake he sets up a huge angle tonight huge the rock defeated Rikishi in a cage match put an end to their feud and uh, after his match his uh, popularity skyrocketed I don't know why Rikishi wasn't popular more popular than him and Rikishi's popularity went to shit I don't know also Shawn Michaels defeats like I said I said this is the end of the feud, but some th uh, it's, it's hard to explain. You'll see later. Um, Ken Shamrock retains the title over William Regal and Triple H. He's facing one of those men tonight in the King of the Ring qualifier. And then Freak won a battle royal. Also, last night I didn't mention it. It was in Canada. So I figured the main event would have been more interesting. So, you know, Bret Hart and Stan Peters would have got the crowd happy. Because they're somewhere in uh, Toronto area, I think. Alright, so the King of the Ring. <coughs> what's called bracket is. Uh, question mark versus Ahmed Johnson. Triple H versus Goldust. The Rock versus 1, 2, 3, Kid. Ken Shamrock versus William Regal. And then, you know. So what you're going to see is. Actually, you know what? Let's put this. Copy this. Sorry if you can hear clicking. It's annoying. I understand. Here. There. So, you're going to see um, or, uh, Triple H and Gold Dust. Ken Shamrock versus Warren Regal. So, you're thinking, who's the question mark? Well, since I only have three weeks to build towards the King of the Ring pay per view, and um, tournaments, although they work well in the pay per view, I have like five, four other matches I want to do. And for a three hour show, it's just not enough. So, there's going to be. This the finals and the semifinals. The Rock vs. One Two Three Kid, Ken Shamrock vs. Regal, Triple H vs. Goldust, Question Mark vs. Ahmed Johnson are all going to happen on Raw. Uh, so this week, Ken Shamrock vs. William Regal, Triple H vs. Goldust. Uh, <laughs> those speak for themselves. Uh, the Rock vs. One Two Three Kid also speaks for itself. All right, the Question Mark. I think I was just about to talk about it, then I want something different. Uh, it's going to be a battle royal because, I, as I said, I don't have enough time to do a huge bracket. So there's going to be a 10 to 15 man battle royal. It's probably going to be next week's main event. And then whoever wins that faces Ahmed Johnson the following week to get in. And whoever wins between Ahmed Johnson and the battle royal winner faces Triple H or Goldust. So let's go to the. Uh, <coughs> Let's go to the show and see who wins King of the Ring. Also, Undertaker vs. Psycho Sid, the main event. Okay, I saved the information. Blah, blah. Here, Bret Hart cuts a promo on Stone Cold, telling him, Okay, I just beat you twice in a row. Your time, no, you're now on the back of the line. You cannot be number one contender right now. Which sets up this man walking down, Ultimate Warrior staring each other off and Ultimate Warrior looks at the title belt which Bret Hart just walks away uh, you know Warrior has been having a good run lately so I'm going to give him the ball and it's going to be these two in the next pay per view at King of the Ring now we know it but the crowd doesn't know it so uh, there will be a good challenge next week ok so we got our first King of the Ring match with Triple H defeating Goldust with an Ace Crusher which is an RKO, actually, for those who didn't know. Uh, we look at momentum here. We look at, you know, relevance. I've dropped the ball at Gold Dust for a while now. Originally, I had a totally different thing. He wouldn't have been a face originally prior to the laptop crash, and he was in a better spot. It's whatever. It's what happens. Triple H, he's going to start, you know, 
I dropped the ball from a little bit, but he's about to pick up, and he's going to pick up pretty fast here. Following that, we get The Undertaker attacking Mankind. This is, uh, you know, these two Undertaker's pissed about losing, and I still, I don't know, kind of regret not turning Paul Bear heel, as it added, it could add another leg to the feud. But eh, it's whatever. Maybe Mankind and Paul Bear wouldn't have been well together. I don't know. But yeah, The Undertaker here attacks Mankind just out of pure frustration and losing. Following that, Ken Sherlock defeats William Regal by pinfall to advance in the King of the Ring. So, Triple H, Ken Sherlock advanced. Ken Sherlock's going to face the winner between The Rock, 1 2 3 Kid, and Triple H is going to face the winner between The Question Mark and Mama Ed Johnson. Nice. The Stampeders would uh, challenge the Legion of Doom because one uh, rematch clause in contract which I don't know how I feel about and then they just beat them last night so that'd be a good way to be like listen we just beat you guys last night and we have a rematch clause for our tag titles we want them back mm -hmm. LED says accept okay and then the Undertaker vs like I said ends when Mankind and Jake the Snake Roberts runs in and attacks Undertaker. Psycho Sid joins him. They're all beating on Undertaker. Tell Shawn Michaels runs down, makes the save. The under saves Undertaker. From Psycho Sid, Mankind, Jake the Snake. Now, uh, what this this is a weird way to set up this because I don't think this is gonna get in the tag match. I think it's gonna go up in two separate singles matches. But I don't know. Maybe I can do a three on two attack. I've yet to decide. I'll know by next week. But uh, I think Sean would have been a good fit to come down and save the Undertaker because what happened with him, just because of him, like I said, in feuding. And he's a total babyface thing to do. Alright, so let's, ad let's adjust this now. Okay, so we know Triple H won. Huh, oh, whoopsies. First gold dust. Okay. So let's just have. I wish there's a way to make it bold. Triple H. Winner. Versus gold dust. Okay, and then here we have Triple H. And here we get rid of gold dust. Okay, also we have Ken Shamrock winning. We'll just put winner there. Winner. Okay, and then we'll eliminate William Regal here. Also, that is a way to end uh, Ken Sherlock and William Regal's feud and, you know, this takes William Regal out of Intercontinental title contention. So, The Rock versus 123 Kid faces Ken Shamrock at <coughs> The Rock or 123 Kid faces Ken Shamrock at King of the Ring. Ahmed Johnson, or whoever wins a battle royal next week, faces Triple H at the pay per view. So next week it's going to be The Rock, 1, 2, 3, K, okay. and a uh, battle royal to get in. Okay, let's see if they beat WCW this week. They didn't have their pay per view yet, so whenever they do, I'll record what happened and see who's better. Uh, we are up 2 to 1 on WCW right now. Okay, let's make that 3 to 1. Okay, let's see New Japan. Ooh, Scotty Norton. <coughs> okay. Okay, we beat him again. So, 3-1 us. Yeah, I believe it's 3-1. If I'm wrong, just tell me. But, uh, actually, you know, don't even bother. This show is a stinker, except Sting and Hogan. Uh, I was going to resign. Can I was going to sign Canyon from him. But, uh, excuse me. They uh, outbid me, and he didn't give me a chance to give a rebuttal. It is what it is. But uh, I'm still in negotiations with a star from WCW. And uh, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.